Hello, this is Dustin with Homebender, and today we are going to deal with a stopped up kitchen sink. Both sides are stopped up. When I run water in one side, it comes out the other side. It's definitely clogged. I'm going to show you how to get the water moving again. Let's get to it. The first thing we want to do is disconnect the drain. We're going to grab a bucket and catch any water that's in there because it's probably going to be gross. And we're going to take it apart right here at this Noha black coupling. If you don't have one of these couplings and you have a glue trap, you can just cut your pipe and either put a fitting back on there or one of those no hubs. This also has a nut on the trap to disconnect it. The tough part about doing that is it's hard for the snake to make it. So we're gonna go straight into the wall like so. 5 16 nut driver. There we go, loosen. All right, let's get something to catch the water because it's probably gonna be stinky. Let's loosen that. Okay, here comes my water. Oh, it's probably going to be gross. Stinky water is still here. Be careful of that. So this guy attaches to your drill. What we're going to do is run it to the right and this little trigger feeds it. When it starts to tense up, let off the trigger and let the kinks work out. I like to stick it in as much as I can until it stops. Nice and gentle. You're going to want to get as close to the hole as you can. Hope you can see that. I'm just going to let it work the kink out until I can start feeding it. I'm feeding now, pulling the trigger. And when you feel the trigger start to tense up, let off the trigger. Keep feeding. If you got a stubborn claw, go ahead and run the whole line out. But if you think it's close, I mean, you can stop after a little bit. Sometimes you can feel how much cable's left in there. All right, I think we got it. Let's disconnect it from the drill. And with your bucket under your outlet there, go ahead and pull the line and feed it back into the snake. Oh yeah, it's pretty black. Make sure you got your little bucket underneath it because it could be gross. Pull it back. There we go, it looks like I only went in about eight to 10 feet. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, let's go ahead and get this put back together. Now I'm gonna put the trap nut on before the coupling. That way it's a little easier. Trap nut good and snug, hand tight. Get this wiped up. Tighten down your no-hub. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. All right, so I have a super gross sink here. After we know the plumbing is all buttoned up and it's not gonna leak, this is my method. I like to run hot water and only run hot water. Fill up both sinks with hot water. Double pull, double flush. You never wanna use Drano, ever. It's the biggest scam. The only thing it's gonna do is corrode your lines or burn up the guy who has to come snake it out. Give it the double pull. Also check for leaks. We're looking good. A little steel wool and bam, like new. So that's it. We just rocked that sink and you only spent about 40 bucks. A plumber would have charged you 100. Look at you saving all that money. So for Home Mender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.